Hi guys, welcome back to another video. Um, just like to thank you all for obviously subscribing and following. The numbers are slowly starting to grow, so that's a great sign. Um, this video today is going to be a very quick one. Just going to quickly discuss a few uh, bits about maintenance, running costs, miles per gallon in drive, miles per gallon in sport mode, um, how much it would cost you to fill the tank, what range you would get roughly like an estimate depending on obviously how you're driving that'll be affected um so we'll, we'll talk about that and uh first of all i just want to go through some of the maintenance costs so um when i bought the car it came with a folder and it's just got so much history in it all the receipts previous um that the previous two owners have spent money on so we're just going to quickly go through some of those one of them's got cam belt i think one of them's got a service and I think one of the other receipts has got uh, the DSG, the gearbox service. So to give you an indication of what to expect cost-wise. Some of the receipts are about a year or so old. Um, I think one of them is possibly two years in 2017. So bear it with a pinch of salt, but it'll give you a rough idea. Um, and then after this one, then I'll just quickly flash a few images of um, a recent journey that I did. Uh, to Tunbridge Wells from Hastings to Tunbridge Wells I think it was about 25 miles each way so a 50 mile round trip mainly a roads a bit of traffic on one of the journey clear on the way back um, I did it in drive one way and then I did it in sport the other way keeping to the speed limits mind you a couple of overtaking here and there where it was safe to do so I had the wife in the car as well so um, it was pretty much a, a sedate drive shall we say uh, so you get to see the differences between normal mode and then in sport mode. Right, so I've got three here. They're all from uh, Audi dealer. These particular ones were in Yeovil, somewhere up in Somerset. I've just put some coasters over the previous guy's address, because I'm sure he wouldn't thank me for putting his address on the internet. Right, so this particular one on the right, Dated 2018, 6th, so that would be June, and what did he have done? Let's see if we can work this out. So, carried out Audi variable service, including engine oil, change, inspection, replacement of oil, pollen filter, air filter, and spark plugs, and then it's all itemised. The total cost of this receipt was... £594 pretty much so uh, services and goods is 494 and obviously VAT good old VAT of 100 quid on top of that so what we have here we have spark plugs total cost 50 quid obviously the cost for the service I'm guessing that's the labour charge of 150 and then you've got your air filters you've got your screws you've got your dust filters your cleaners and then obviously the oil that they used was Castrol Edge Professional. And then I also included in this was front brake pads of 98 and some wheel balancing. Rebalanced all four wheels for 20. Oh, that's quite cheap. It's probably not, probably wouldn't charge you more than that now, but, or maybe they'd done it at a, a better price. Anyhow, so for service, pretty much a, a good service because you've got the spark plugs in there as well. So for the service, all the filters for the whole lot, and obviously, like I say, brake pads and real wheel the rebalancement comes to just under 600 quid. Right, this one is dated, this one is dated 2018 February, so a couple of months before that previous one. And on this particular receipt, we've had cam belt and tensioner replacement. Right, so... Labour for that is 234 and then obviously these are all the, the bolts, nuts, tensioners, the belts are all included in this breakdown. So we got the belt was 40 quid, the tensioner was 78 and then I guess a handful of nuts and bolts. One was eight pounds and one was 13 pounds and then they also carried out a free complimentary health check. And the total of that one was 454. So services and goods was 378, VAT was 75. So the total 454. So 
the nice chap in February last year paid 454 and then in June last year paid another 600 quid for a service and then finally on this last one let me get this one out of the way on this last one um, again total amount was 448 pounds which it shows you on the top receipt stub but there we go so services and goods 373 VAT 74 total 448 and what we've had on this one are, and this one was dated 2017 5th so May 2017 uh, and it's carried out Estronic gearbox oil and filter so the gearbox oil so the actual service cost for the oil and filter was £65, which is not bad, I assume. I guess, I mean, I don't know what's involved in changing that. So that was 65 The actual oil was 100 quid. Then the filter, the seal ring. And then they've also carried out brake fluid service. So they've changed the brake fluid as well. And then also down here, we've got carried out Audi oil change only service so this also had an oil change as well at the same time so i've had the gearbox serviced and then just the oil uh, and filter replaced also on that one so that one like i say the total of that came to 448 so that hopefully kind of are the main bits um i did notice on one of these it said a haldex uh, this one so it says how oil change will be due um, 2019 so pretty much next month um, where are we now we are like I don't even know what day we are I think we're the end of coming to the end of May so we are coming to so that is going to be needed to be done my service light has come on so it does need a service um, I will be doing that service I've already bought the parts for it but I'll get this booked in for the Haldex oil change. Um, and then obviously they've got the price here of 109. Um, and then also says tire fluid canister out of date. So a replacement one of those is 72 pounds. That's quite steep. Um, so yeah, we'll get it booked in for the Haldex at some stage. Hopefully in the next couple of weeks, we'll get that sorted out. I will carry out just a, an oil service and filter um, change and I'll, record that as well so you guys can see how easy or difficult it is to do an oil service i believe for a full tank of petrol um i fill up at tesco i get tesco's momentum which is i think it's either 98 or 99 ron um so it's the cleaner burning stuff and a full tank of that pretty much from when it's in the red is about 64, 65 pounds and it'll give me a full tank. Um, so if I was running on fumes, uh, I'd have a guess and say it might be about 70 quid. Now in that 70 quid's worth of petrol, depending on how I'm driving, I probably would get a, between 270 to 300 miles at the moment. At the moment, I think, the speedo or the um, the trip computer is sitting at about 285 miles um, and I've got a little bit left in the tank so I could probably eke that out to 300 but I have done quite a few long distance journeys on the motorway well just just sitting at 70 in um, in normal mode just cruising so I could probably eke it to that and I could imagine if he was in sport mode with a heavy foot probably be looking just over 200 miles, 220, 230 possibly for 70 quid for a full tank. Obviously, if, if you've only doing short journeys, then you'd be doing less because you won't be getting the miles per gallon. Um, like I don't drive the car that often, so it, it's not really an issue for me, but if you're driving it day in, day out, your wallet will be lighter. Okay, so we've set the miles per gallon. We've set the the average miles per hour on the speed. That's the current miles per gallon that it's using to idle currently as it's sitting here. That's the range in the tank. Um, and then that's the time that it's being reset from. And then there's the overall mileage. So we'll do our 
first trip in drive and see how we get on and then we'll do the return trip in sport. So we've done our journey from A to B in drive we've averaged 30.9 miles to the gallon obviously that's going down now as we're idling we've done 24.5 miles it was a 56 minute journey as we had an accident on the way here so it kind of that probably ate into the miles per gallon and obviously the journey time and that's the running miles per gallon at the moment so and that was the average speed over the journey so we'll delete all of these back to the miles per gallon and then what we'll do is we'll go into sport and we'll do the return journey back home and we'll see and compare what the differences are all right so we've done the journey home the big reveal see what the differences are between drive and sport we go through the menu and we've averaged 25.3 miles to the gallon on our return leg 25.9 miles so what's that 0.5 points yeah I think it's 0.5 more than what it was the journey time was shorter because the accident had been cleared up that we had on the way there and obviously that's what we got left in the tank and that's the current idling at the moment and then the average speed is 37 I can't remember what the, the average speed was coming back so that's the two differences between the short journeys it was a road journeys so most of it was um, quick roads not through the towns or anything like that so obviously that would affect your overall miles to the gallon but hopefully that kind of gave you a bit of insight as to running costs uh, maintenance costs, service costs, um, insurance. Insurance wise for me, um, I've got no no claims for cars because obviously I drive a van for work. Um, so I started a new policy for the car and I am 41 years old, uh, or 42, I never remember, but there anyway, 41 or 42. Um, and insurance for me was under 400 pounds fully comp. Um, which I didn't think was too bad. Um, so take that with a pinch of salt as to how much obviously it would cost you guys. Bought some new wheels. So they will be going on. Um, I will be picking them up this coming weekend. Um, they do need refurbing because they're second hand and they've got curb rash around, I think all four of them. So. They're going to be refurbed. I'm going to attempt to do it, and if it works out, great. If not, then it'll go in and get professionally refurbed. So there'll be a video coming up on that, and then also there'll be a video coming up on with the car with the new wheels and see what it's like. But I do like the wheels that are on it. I'm just not getting on with the twenties because they're twenty inch. So I've dropped. I've dropped an inch. New wheels are nineteen inch. Hopefully, it'll give me that little bit more of a tire wall. Um, and potholes and cracks in the road won't be as thuddening as they are on the 20s. But so, yeah, there'll be new wheels going on. There'll be a wheel refurb video coming on. Obviously, there'll be the service oil change video coming on um, and a few other bits. So, if you're not subscribed already, please subscribe. Thanks for watching. See you guys soon.